In today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly run VNC with Windows 7. I'm using my netbook, uh, my MSI Wind, and it's running a oh, Windows 7 uh, build uh, 7100 or 7. Yeah. All right. So I'm using Ultra VNC on the Windows side, and I'm using. Um, uh, chicken of the VNC for Mac OS 10. So here we go. All you have to do is go to uvnc vnc dot com and go to download. And it's not really perfect. It does not replace like a monitor. But if you're just trying to do a quick little thing or see what's on the screen, um, it works fine. So if you follow that, sorry about that, I'll go back. Um, all you do is just scroll down and click on update, whatever, um, and then click on update full or download. Just run the executable file. And if you're on Windows um, 7, it will say like, um, use like these Vista things. Uh, I would recommend using it since it is, since Vista is, um, a lot of Vista hardware runs on Windows 7. Uh, fine, and I have it to work, and I use the Windows Vista plugins. So all you have to do is go um, to the admin properties. Once it uh, opens up, and as you can see, it's a bit um, I don't know. There, there's a lot of data, so uh, I would recommend remove arrow, all that. It's pretty much on there automatically. Uh, I just recommend just uh, putting a VNC password, pressing apply or OK, and that's pretty much it. And then just run it. And then on Mac OS 10 side, uh, I recommend using Chicken of the VNC. And you'll see something like this, and just find out your host number. Just um, it will tell you when you hover over the icon. And then you type that in the password and click connect. That's all you have to do to properly run or cross run VNC and uh, VNC over Windows 7 and Mac OS 10 or any other VNC client, XP, Linux, whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please check out my website at matt.bevage.org.